Be careful. Loving Jesus, you risk becoming happy. These are the words Mikhailo Mudrik lives by as he proudly shoves them on his Instagram page. The Chelsea footballer is one of the most devout Christians in the Premier League. His social media is full of images where he shows his love for Jesus Christ, just like his body has numerous tattoos showing his devotion to God. Before we fully devote ourselves to finding out about the origins of Mudrik's faith, like this video so more football fans can watch it and we'll be super grateful if you also subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Mikhailo Mudrik comes from Ukraine, a predominantly Christian country. More specifically, the vast majority of believers in Ukraine belong to the Orthodox branch of Christianity. This is the third largest denomination of Christianity by the number of followers, preceded by Protestantism and the Catholic Church. The icons in one of Mudrik's photos are typical of Orthodox Christianity and are one of its inseparable symbols. There are significant differences between the major branches of Christianity and one of those lies in symbolism. Orthodox churches look visually striking from the inside, most notably thanks to the abundant use of gold. An example is this photo of Mudrik, seemingly taken before or after baptism. Although we have mentioned that most Ukrainians identify as Christian, Mudrik really wants to show it. When he delivers on the pitch, he attributes his success to God. Here is a typical quote on his Instagram. Everything that I can do, it's all thanks to God. Even if it's just a good preseason preparation, Mudrik credits the creator with this. Thanks God for good time on the preseason, he wrote on social media following his first training camp with the Blues. When things don't go his way, Mudrik takes it as the will of God. Dear God, if today I lose my hope, just remind me that your plans are better than my dreams, he wrote after a disappointing start to his Chelsea career. By the way, these are the words he also has on his body among his multiple tattoos. He also has only Jesus ink on his neck, as well as the letters F and D on his hands, which, hands clasped together, reads as the word faith in Portuguese. Why is the young man so serious about religion in an age when religious beliefs seem to be less and less evident in our lives? The starting point is his childhood, as he revealed a few years ago. When I was 8, 9 years old, I was scared of the dark and kept having nightmares. Once I was at my grandma's and told her about the nightmares. She gifted me an embroidery with Archangel Michael she'd made by herself. She told me to cross myself before going to bed and say, in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. By his own admission, Mudrik also read the Bible for children at the age of 9. It was the turning point as he started to immerse himself in the Christian life. Some people say I'm showing off, but they don't know what I feel for God, admitted Mudrik. It's hard to judge a person if you only see his Instagram. Although his grandmother seems to have nudged him in this direction, Mudrik says he found God on his own. Sometimes when parents believe in God, they expect the same from their children. But it's not my case. Nobody made me believe. I came to this by myself. While Mudrik is perhaps the most prominent Orthodox Christian in the Premier League, there are quite a few believers in other confessions as well. Former Chelsea footballer Olivier Giroud holds a strong belief in God as a Catholic Christian. He was even named an editor-in-chief for the French magazine called Jesus as he made his appearance on the cover. Bukayo Saka from Arsenal is another example of a Christian footballer. He often uses hashtags like God's child in his social media messages. Alejandro Ganaccio from Man United is yet another player with a strong belief in the divine. For example, after United lost the FA Cup final, he referred to God as somebody who taught him to never give up. There are, of course, numerous Muslim footballers in the Premier League. Which one of you hasn't seen Mo Salah finish his goal celebration with the sujood, the act of bowing before saying a prayer? So, though religion is not as omnipresent in the modern world as it used to be, it still plays a vital role to some of the best footballers. In the words of Mikhailo Mudrik, the protagonist of this episode, religion plays the biggest role in my career. It's quite possible I wouldn't have made it as a footballer without God's help. Like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you enjoyed the episode and see you in other videos.